Hi guys, today's video is going to be about um, my children's school year binder. I wanted to share this video with you guys because this video um, will really give you some insight into the uh, purpose of the binder and how it will help you stay organized with your children's schoolwork throughout the school year. This binder is a lifesaver. Um, before you get started, let me just tell you a few things that you will need to put your binder together. Of course, you'll need a binder. And this is the binder that I use. It is from the Dayspring collection. Um, in the post that I have about um, binders, I have a link to the actual um, binders that are like these on the post. But this one says Forever is in the Future from 1 John 2 and 17. And um, on the spine of the Bible, on um, Bible, on the spine of the binder, if you remember um, any of my home, or, home home office organization videos, you'll see that this is one of the, the, the binders that's, you know, in that collection of binders that I use. And this is the kids binder. So you'll need a nice, sturdy binder. I got that one because it inspires me. You will also might want to have some page protectors. Just a few of those for like random papers uh, where the print comes all the way over to the edge of the paper and you don't want to put holes in it. So you might want to use some of those. You'll also need um, a hole punch. You can use the little handheld manual hole punch, or you can use the big hole punch. I use the big hole punch. I found this at the Goodwill for like three bucks, um, but I use the big one because we punch a lot of holes in paper between my office work and between the kids and their schoolwork. A big hole punch is something that we usually um, use a lot. You also probably want to have a stapler and um, because you'll get a lot of papers that you want to staple together. And another thing that you want to have is probably notepads. I use some colorful notepads, one for each of the children. I have um, like a, the dark blue, then I have the green, and then I have the light blue. So notepads are going to be something that's going to be good to have also and if you use one notepad per child you, you know if you use one colored notepad per child it'll be easy easily easy to distinguish you know the notes that you're keeping for each of the children and finally I do have like one other little pad and this one is a to-do pad and this one just kind of helps me to keep track of things that I need to do as a mom that are not directly related to each of the children but maybe um, something that uh, maybe um, an appointment that's coming up and, and I can write on this little pad and it kind of distinguishes between things that are specifically for the kids and things that I just need to do related to their school. So uh, I'm going to walk you through the notebook. So this is the outside of the notebook. In the first part of the notebook, I have some um, folders. And this first folder here is a folder that contains their catechisms and catechisms are basically questions about God, man, and sin and these are um, questions and stuff that we've used when we homeschooled so I have a copy of the catechisms each of the kids have their own catechisms please go over these from time to time and in the back I have um, a guide that uh, breaks down like a Bible reading plan to read through Psalm and Proverbs in a month's time so I have that in here also. So that's the first little folder. And in that same pocket behind that first folder, I have this folder that houses school reports. And a lot of times when I get their school reports, um, like their quarterly reports, I don't immediately punch the holes in them. So what I can do is I can just stuck, stick them in this envelope along this folder. And then when I get around to it, I can go ahead and punch holes in the folder. Now the next thing I have in their notebook is just some regular write, writing paper in case there's some other things that I have to jot down I keep that there. Then the next thing I have is and this is something that's also on my site and this is the um, let me see if I can get that to show up for you. This is the um, form that I made for the kids for whenever they're absent so I don't have to uh, continue to write the same note anytime they're absent from school. I just have several copies of this note here and it's an absent student note. It's available on my website and I'm just covering the part where my telephone number and um, that sort of thing is. But yes, I have several copies of these um, here in this 
in this um, first section of the notebook. And what I do is I actually keep one copy inside of a page protector and that lets me know that that is my master copy. And so whenever I run out of sheets, I can just grab that master copy and make more copies. Another thing I keep in here right behind that is um, graph paper. This is my master copy of graph paper. And I use that. There's another another one right behind it, a blue one. Um, I use that when the kids need graph paper. Instead of buying graph paper from the store, I just print off graph paper for them. Because the booklet of graph paper, you know, it can get pricey. So I just make them copies and um, put it in a three-prong folder and they can take it to school. And right behind it, I also have this one. This is another one that they use for math quite often. The one with the axis on it. So that's that. That's something that I always find that I that I use quite often. And then next, I have dividers for each of the children. I have one for my oldest son, one for my youngest son, and one for my daughter. And so... As each child brings home their schoolwork, they can punch holes in their schoolwork and they can add it to their section in the note in, in the um, home in the school binder. What's in their sections right now are their school schedules because school is just starting. There is not really much in there. There is it's their school schedules, um, class schedules, um, graduation and promotion requirements. Uh, contact information for their t teachers, immunization records, their most recent immunization records, um, school trip um, permission forms, any kind of permission forms, those would be in there also. Um, so basically, that's how I use their notebooks. Oh, that's how I use these notebooks to keep the kids organized throughout the school year. I think it's a very useful tool whenever the kids bring home papers. I just tell them, well, I, I look at it and I see if it's something I need to keep. And then I'll let them know, we'll go ahead and put it in your section in the notebook. And they can go ahead and do that. They've been using this notebook for probably about um, three or four school years now. And um, they can use it. I can use it. My husband can use it. We always know where the report cards are. We always know where the school schedules are. Um, their bus information is in here. Lunch information. Everything is in here for each of our kids. So it makes it easy to keep them organized, keep myself organized, and keep everybody on the same page when it comes to managing their school year. So I hope this video was informative and I hope you learned a lot. If you do make a school year binder, I would love for you to share it with me. I'm um, in a video, share, send me some pictures, um, you know, send me an email, shoot me an email, um, give me a comment down below. If you make a video about your school year binder, let me know. I'll come and watch it, but I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more videos to come. I would love for you to make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. If you have some ideas for videos that you'd like to see, I'd love for you to let me know down in the comment box. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.